Okay, so this is the second part <clears throat> of our mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. So I have the matching pennies game. There is no pure strategy Nash equilibrium. So we extended the set of strategies to mixed strategies. So we assume that the player one is going to choose uh, of playing, le uh, uh, he's going to play left with probability P. So P indicates the probability that player one uh, plays left. And therefore, 1 minus P is the probability that player 1 plays right. And Q is the probability that player 2 plays left. And R is therefore, um, he will play with 1 minus Q probability. All right, so we can uh, eliminate this part later because I already put th those notations here on the matrix uh, uh, representation. So what I'm going to do... To calculate mixed strategy in Ash equilibrium, there are three steps. Uh, we can skip step two, but we cannot skip step one and three. So this uh, step one is calculating the expected payoffs. This part is very critical. Most of the errors basically occurs and happens at that step. So what do we do? So now I'm, I'm going to first start uh, player one. I'll do the same analysis for player two later. So for player one, I take given as the player two's strategy, which is uh, he's going to play left with Q probability and right with one minus Q probability. Remember? So I take that as given. So given that strategy, uh, so given that this is what he writes down, think it that way. So let's suppose player two wrote down on a piece of paper Q with L, pro, uh, L with Q probability and R with 1 minus Q probability. Those probabilities must add up to 1, obviously. Um, well, then, what is going to be the player 1 expected payoff? And All right, so and then I'm going to use that expected payoff to find what action would be regret-free. Right. Well, the player 1's expected payoff of playing left. So I'm going to indicate this expected payoff of player 1 when he chooses left. Given that, obviously, the player 2 plays uh, left with Q probability and right with 1 minus Q probability. So, therefore, I denote it this way. E sub 1 LQ. All right. And then I'm going to calculate expected payoff of the first guy. I'm sorry. When he instead chooses right. Again, given that the opponent is choosing uh, or playing this strategy L with Q probability. So what is this expected payoff and this one? This is what I'm going to calculate first. And then I'll do the same analysis for player two. So um, in, in few moments. Well, to calculate the expected payoff of player one, I have to look at the player one's payoffs once uh, those uh, actions are taken. So here... The actions player two will be taking is either left or right, right? Um, so he's going to take L action with Q probability, in which case the player one is playing left. So this is the row that I should focus. All right, so it's either plus one or minus one. But plus one will occur with Q probability. So think it this way. Think it this way. If player one plays left, what is the likelihood that player one is going to get the payoff of one? Well, it's, payoff, it's the, the, the probability of the player one getting payoff plus one is Q because player one is going to get plus one only if player two plays left. All right. So therefore, player one is going to get plus one with Q probability. Okay. Well, what is the probability that player one is going to get minus one? Well, it's 1 minus Q, because with 1 minus Q probability, uh, player 2 is going to play right. And in which case, because player 1 is playing left, um, he's going to get minus 1 payoff. So minus 1 with 1 minus Q probability. All right. So if you sum them up, this is plus Q. This is minus 1 plus Q. So I have 2Q minus 1. Okay. Well, what about this? The expected payoff of playing right. So... Imagine player one is playing right. So he will either get minus one or plus one. Well, he's going to get plus one only if player two plays right, which happens with one minus Q probability. And with the remaining probability, um, 
player one is going to get minus one. So therefore his expected payoff, in expectation, his payoff is, so this is what expected payoff is. In expectation, his payoff is this, which is one minus Q minus Q. So it's one minus two Q. All right. So these are the expected payoffs for player one. Well, now, what about the expected payoff of player two, given that he plays left, but his opponent chooses left with P probability and right with one minus P probability. And similarly, what is the expected payoff of player two by choosing right? given that his opponent is choosing left with P probability. All right. So because now I'm calculating the, so given that player one, all right, so I'm not going to rewrite this whole sentence. So for this part, given that player one plays L with P probability and R with one minus P probability, what is player two's expected payoff of playing left and right? That's the answer of that question. Now I'm answering. All right, so because the second player owns the second payoffs, I'm going to focus on the second numbers, all right? Well, here, he is choosing here, I mean, he is choosing left, I mean this column, all right? So his payoff is either minus one or plus one. He's going to get plus one only if the first guy plays right which will happen with probability one minus P. So therefore he's going to get plus one with one minus P probability. And with the remaining probability, he's going to get minus one. So therefore his expected payoff or his payoff in expectation will be one minus P minus P one minus two P. And the expected payoff of the second guy when he chooses right, so it's either plus one or minus one, this time second player will get plus one only if his opponent plays left, which happens with P probability. So with P probability, he's going to get plus one. With the remaining probability, he's going to get minus one. Because in this game, you either get plus or minus one. You can't get anything else. So therefore, your, the expected payoff of the second guy in this case is P minus one plus P. So it's basically two P minus one. All right. So it's very related, right? One minus two Q, one minus two P. The only, which makes sense because the payoffs are symmetric, but it differs because here the Q appears and here the P appears, which makes a lot of sense. This is the payoff of the first guy and the second guy's strategy enters into his expected utility calculation because his outcome will be determined by the opponent's strategy, which is Q. And here, the second guy's strategy, expected payoff, depends on the first guy's strategy, which is P. All right, so uh, that should be the case. I mean, Q must enter the first guy's expected payoff and P must enter the first guy's expected payoff. All right. I mean, think it this way. If player one has written on a piece of paper, I'm going to play L uh, with probability one, meaning I'm going to play left. I'm not going to play right. right? So P1. What would be the expected payoff for the second guy if he happens to choose left? Well, if the first guy happens to choose, I'm going to play left for sure. And if the second guy plays left, well, his payoff will be minus one. All right. So if P is equal to one and the second guy is choosing left, if P is one again, so his payoff is minus one. All right. If P is zero, meaning this guy committing that he's going to play right for sure. And the second guy is playing left. His payoff is going to be plus one. All right. So if P is zero, his payoff is going to be uh, plus one. If the second guy chooses left. All right, so all that makes sense. So just double check and make sure that your expected payoffs are making sense with the game. All right, so spend some time about that. All right, so these are the expected payoffs. Well, the second step is finding the um, uh, best responses, uh, best response functions. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump to step three 
and then find the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. And in the next video, because I think it deserves a separate video, I'm going to calculate the best response functions because in the exams, probably one of the questions will be asking you calculate the best response functions. So I, I'm going to shoot a new video for this. So given all that, how do I find the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium? Okay, so mixed Nash. Well, mixed Nash, I'll explain why this is the case in the next video. The mixed Nash is the point where the uh, agents are indifferent between their actions. I mean, we have to calculate the values of Q where agent 1's expected payoff of playing left and his expected payoff of playing right are the same, so he's indifferent, and the agent 2, the player 2, his expected payoff of playing left is also equal to his expected payoff of playing right. So this indifference is going to give us the Nash equilibrium, mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. Why this equivalence? I'm going to explain in the next video. So let me just solve it. Um, what does that mean? That means the agent one or the player one, he's going to be indifferent between playing left and right whenever Q takes a value such that 2Q minus 1 equals 1 minus 2Q. So pull this 2Q to the left hand side, send minus 1 to the right hand side, it becomes plus 1. So it becomes 4Q equals 2, hence Q equals 1 half. Okay? So if the second guy happens to play left and right with 50-50 chance, player 1 will be indifferent between left and right. And then player 2 is going to be indifferent between left and right if 1 minus 2p equals to 2p minus 1. Which means, again, I send 2p minus 2p to the other side, it becomes plus 2p. And then minus 1 to this side, it becomes plus. So it's 2 equals 4p, and hence p equals 1 half. That means whenever player 1 chooses left and right with equal probabilities, player 2 will be indifferent between left and right. And hence we conclude the mixed strategy mixed strategy, Nash equilibrium of this game is PQ where P is one half, Q is one half. I mean, these players are going to equally play left and right. So they prefer to be uh, unpredictable. Um, half of the time they're going to play left, half of the time they're going to play right. And that's the Nash equilibrium. I mean, that's the regret-free outcome. And again, why this is the regret-free outcome, I'm going to explain in the next video once I uh, uh, calculate the best response functions. Uh, but this is exactly how we find the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. All right? It's the P and Q values where agents are indifferent between their actions. Okay? Hope that was clear. So we're going to continue in the next video.